All right, what up, everybody? It's your boy, T-Man Beats. So I just installed FL Studio 12, and I'm just doing a, a quick tutorial on how to add VSTs because I had an issue with it when I installed it. So uh, I'm just going to share what I found out how to add it, all right? So first thing you want to do is you want to go to File Settings, and right here it says VSD Plug Plugins Extra Search Folder. So you'll come through, and you'll select the folder where all your VSTs are installed on. Mine is installed on an external hard drive, so yours may be different so once you do that you'll go to refresh plugin list and then you'll add it to a folder all right so you go to make sure you click on generators instead of effects right click go to open and go to new add a new folder and i'm going to call mine best vsts So now the folder shows up right here. So what I'll do is come down to generator. I'll add my purity. I'll add nexus. And I'll add gladiator, which I already have a gladiator open. So, so then you want to highlight best VSTs. Hit the drop down, go to add to plugin. Then we'll go here, add to plugin database, and then Gladiator, add to plugin database. And that right there is how you add, add VSTs. It took me a minute to figure that out. So I'm just going to go through and add all the VSTs that has my instruments in it. So I'll do my contact five. My serum, this, um, I think that is all the ones that I use. And that right there is how you add it. So thanks for watching. I am going to be doing a lot more videos on stuff that I find out um, for FL Studio 12 because as soon as I installed it, it was it, it's definitely different. It's definitely different. It's different, but it's the same. So, matter of fact, I, I'll show you guys how to um, make your own template also because I know a lot of people don't know how to do that. So making your template is, is very useful. It's very useful when, whenever you start uh, projects. I, all, I all already have go-to uh, instruments that I use, and I don't like to go through and select the same instruments that I'm always going to use. I, I know I'm going to use these instruments, like your, your hi-hat, your snares, your 808s. So I'll just show you how to make it. So go to the instruments you want, drag them in, put them wherever you want them. And pretty much all you're going to do is you're just going to save it. Once you add it in, you're just going to save it um, to the templates folder. All right. So now that I have my instruments in there. Uh, you, you can add plugins, so I'll just add the plugins that I know I'm going to use. So I always use Nexus. I use Gladiator a lot. And I use Purity. The other three, uh, I only use, I, I rarely use those. So what you want to do now is you want to go to save as templates and I have my my own folder and I'll save it save over that replace yes um, you can save it wherever you really want though so you can go to minimum 
basic. I can save over that if I wanted to. Uh, I'll probably wind up saving it for basic. So now, from new template, go to basic, and it's going to be the everything that I use already. And every time I go to new, it should stay up there. So if I close this and open it back up, this should be this is this is what should pop up. Um, you can also take it a step further by coming here. Um, route selected. Okay, so so this right here is is a change. So in the other one it says link, um, link channel from starting from selected track whatever pretty sure this is the exact same thing is it yes hey we learned something new together so that is it right there and then I'll save that under templates um, I'm also gonna take this this limiter off because I do not like it at all and that should be it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up some um, I'm gonna open up a, a project that I recently did and see how well it works out in FL Studios 12 so I did this one in 11 I'm gonna just see if it works in 12 Let's see if everything transferred over, over good. And it looks like it did. So I'll be putting this beat out with um with this video also. Oh, I like how they changed the So that's just a, a sample of it. So I think I'm gonna like this. One thing I, I don't like is I don't I don't use this right here. Like this right here. If we can just get rid of this. Oh, there's no way to do that. Oh, so it looks like you can add your own buttons on this one. Mixer. Okay, this is a weird one. I don't need that one. So we'll take that one out. Um, open. I don't need 
that one. I don't need the tempo changer. One click recording audio. I'm not gonna, oh shoot. Don't need that. So it looks like you can take out whatever you don't want. So I'll add everything to this one and then remove the other one. I don't need cut. Cut. Copy. I do want that one on this. I don't need the undo and I don't need the question. That's better. Okay. Oh, that's a. Has they? Oh man. That right there will save a, a couple seconds. Paste, duplicate. Okay, so. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Just messing around with uh, the MIDI controller. Triangle volume. Okay. Okay, so I can link the volume. So right now I'm twisting on my MIDI controller and you see the triangle volume is changing. Tweak the controls you want to link. So all right, I guess I'll do it the other way. Link to controller and then twist it. All right, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So what I did, I showed you guys how to add VSTs uh, and how to make your own template. So make sure to like this video, subscribe, and the beat that this beat right here, this beat right here is gonna wind up being a free beat, so you'll be able to download it. So thanks for watching.